I am standing at the helm of the Wellcraft 355. Now this may look Nordic in design, but this US manufacturer has been building boats for over 60 years. And on board this vessel, they've managed to combine that artistry of design with cutting edge technology and the relentless performance that you would expect of a Wellcraft hull. This boat is perfect for the people that are looking to take a little bit more of a bite out of their boating. From the moment you step aboard, you will be amazed by the meticulous attention to detail that defines the Worldcraft 355. Every line, curve and every feature has been carefully conceived to create a harmonious blend between form and function. And while you're boating in complete luxury, Worldcraft managed to also put multi-purpose functionality at the very core of the design. Access onto this boat is made easy via a port and starboard doorway in the gunnel. They give you access straight into this cockpit area, which is set up a little bit differently than you may find on other boats in this class. This area has purposefully been left open. It's got a hose out floor. You can surely put some deck chairs here if you wanted to sit down here and relax. But this space really is reserved for those who like to use their boat for fun water sports activities. You've got this wonderful tower here, gives you high access to a rope, and you can tow inflatables with the kids or friends all day long. This place is really reserved for that type of activity, even fishing as well, leaning against the gunnel, it's nice and high, you're not gonna tip over, and it's also safe for kids being high, of course. If you wanna entertain, you can do that at the bow. There's a triple sun pad up the front with facing seating as well, and that's the place you're really gonna go and sit down and relax with a drink in hand and enjoy the sunshine. Now from that utilitarian cockpit area, you really step into this opulent luxury inside. If it's cold, you can shut the door and this top hinging window and you're fully enclosed and entirely warm the entire time. When the weather's like this, open them up and you get that open air feel that is always desirable on board a boat. You've got a wonderful dining area here with semi-modular furniture. This also converts down into a bed. On the port side, you've got a small kitchenette with a sink and a fridge, and that's enough to keep you happy for a night on board, and certainly more than enough for a day with family and friends. The luxury continues downstairs in this forward cabin running north-south. You've got a huge bed, a separate ensuite with a separate toilet and shower, and ample light coming from these wonderful hull port windows. It's a beautiful space, plenty of room to move around here at the foot of the bed as well, and perfect for a couple to enjoy their time on board. If they need more space for children perhaps, the dining area converts into a bed as well, so you can put the kids up there and have a little bit of privacy down here. Safety is paramount on this boat, and it is equipped with the latest navigation and safety systems to ensure peace of mind on every voyage. The intuitive helm station provides easy access to essential controls, while the comprehensive electronics package keeps you informed and connected no matter where you are. Driving this boat is immensely fun. In fact, for a boat of this size, it's incredibly agile. The helm position is really well laid out. I can see everything I need to. But when you put the throttle down, you really get a feeling for how agile and how enjoyable this hull is to actually drive. You throw it into a turn, it does it lay over and gives it a very tight turning radius. And that makes it turn in incredibly tight spaces for a boat of this length. It's a Michael Peters hull designer. He's well renowned for beautiful hulls. And this is certainly one of them. Offshore, this boat cuts through the chop easily. And even when you're driving around and it's relatively calm, it's incredibly fun. It's hard to put into words how enjoyable this is. The acceleration, the lack of friction from the hull, the solid feeling that it gives the driver is every type of feedback you want to make sure that you're feeling safe and secure everywhere you go. Throw it into a turn, you'll get to see how tight I can actually turn and the hull just holds on all the way through. It really never slips or slides. I can apply more power halfway through the turn. And for a big boat, that's incredibly impressive. 
Underneath its sleek exterior, the Worldcraft 355 boasts a powerful and technologically advanced propulsion system, three Mercury outboard engines. Equipped with state-of-the-art engines, this vessel delivers exceptional speed, agility and handling, allowing you to effortlessly navigate through the waves to your intended destination. When you're coming to a stop or even when you're running around at speed and you want to enhance that sporty feeling, just reach up here, press this button, and you've got a sunroof overhead. Electronic, of course, lets the air in, gets that wind in the hair feeling that you'd expect from a sports type of boat. The Worldcraft 355 is a beautifully appointed boat, and it manages to take that day boating element to the next level, combining equal parts day boat with a boat that's comfortable and luxurious should you wish to stay overnight once in a while. This boat is perfect for those sports adventurers that like to tow inflatables but also sink their teeth into sitting down, relaxing and enjoying their time on board. For more information on this boat or any others in the Worldcraft range, contact the team at MW Marine or visit mwmarine.com.au.